Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon, you will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you the most easiest and simplified method where you can use your oven and you can have delicious chicken. And I will be making today the chicken drumstick. I have a 5 pound of chicken drumstick with the skin on and I'm going to make it chicken drumstick with black pepper spices from my masala dabba olive oil and breadcrumb when i make a chicken in the oven i always use this tray which is a slaughtered vented tray and has a bottom tray and the top tray and i always fill the water inside the tray and then put the chicken on top many people are requesting that if they don't have a tray how they can substitute with other trays so today I'm going to simplify this method and I'm going to share with you most easiest and economical method and let's get started. First we're going to wash the chicken. So I'll place all the chicken drumsticks into the pot and this is a fresh chicken drumsticks. Now we're going to wash it. Please make sure you use cold water. I'm going to get the strainer and we're going to make sure that all the chicken drumsticks we're going to drain the water. Discard the other water and I'll let it sit the chicken drumstick into the pot for 10 to 15 minutes until all the water gets drained. The water is drained and now we're going to get the chicken drumstick and we're going to keep the skin on so we're going to push it down and we're going to make nice cut. One like this, and one on the parallel. You can make two cut, or if the chicken drumsticks big like this, then you can make three cut. This is perfectly fine. I'll show you one more. Nice cut, perfect, and three cut. I'll finish up cutting all the chicken drumstick the similar way. If the chicken drumstick has too much fat, just cut it off and discard it. To mix the dry ingredient first before we add into the chicken drumstick. 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon grinder powder, salt, 1 teaspoon and you always can adjust according to your taste and we're going to make it hot and it's going to be black pepper chicken so two tablespoons we're going to mix these spices once it's nicely combined now we're going to marinate the chicken drumstick first I'm going to bring one tablespoon olive oil you can use any vegetable oil as a personal hygiene make sure your hands are very clean so we're going to make sure that all the pieces are nicely coated with oil the whole reason we're doing it because we're going to apply the dry ingredient dry masala so the masala going to stick better and also the chicken will be more moist and more juicy and tender now we're going to add the spices so once we added the spices we're going to mix it well again so keep tossing all the chicken drumsticks and we're going to add again and one more time and this is the last time make sure that it's nicely coated as you see this is the reason I want it to have cut so the masala can go inside and then it will taste better all the chicken drumsticks are nicely coated with our dry ingredient so we're going to cover it and we're going to put it in the fridge for two hours the longer the better but I'm going to marinate for two hours this is what I wanted to share with you today that this is the oven and these are the rack we use to place our baking trays to cook anything and every oven do receive these today I'm going to show you how to utilize these rack as your baking tray you can get any kind of pot which you place it on the bottom rack 
and fill with the water. And I'm using hot water. When we're going to preheat our oven, expedite the preheating process. You can put a cold water, that's not any issue, but the hot is better. And when I cook, I cook with the steam. So this is really important, fill with the hot water. And you can fill it all the way because we're not going to move the tray so you have no chances that you're going to spill it. Now we're going to make this rack as our cooking tray. So I'm going to place the chicken drumstick on top of it and then we're going to cook it. So I hope you're going to like this idea and you're going to try it. Now I'm going to close it. You see the tray inside fill the water and the second rack on the top. The time is 2.35, we're going to keep the temperature on bake and we're going to put the temperature to 500 degrees Fahrenheit which is 260 degrees Celsius. 500 and we're going to start it and now it's going to preheat. Once uh, the oven is preheated, then we're going to place our chicken. You heard the beep. It's 500 degree Fahrenheit, it's already preheated, it's a 249. It took us 15 minutes to preheat our oven. Bring the chicken drumsticks. The chicken is marinated for two hours. So we're going to mix it again one more time. This is looking so good. The breadcrumb. I'm using a panko breadcrumb, you can use any breadcrumb. So we're going to mix it again. You don't want to use the breadcrumb and then marinate because of the breadcrumbs, they become more soggy because of the moisture. So it's a good idea to do it when we're going to place it in oven. So we're going to bring more breadcrumb. And once it's nicely coated, now we'll take this one to our ovens. So our chicken is ready. Oven is preheated at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 260 degrees Celsius. It's a 253. It's going to take us a couple minutes, so be careful when you're going to open it. Look at that, the water is steaming boil and I'm going to pull this rack forward and I'm going to place the chicken drumstick right on top of it. So place the chicken drumstick on top, just like this. Facing one this way and facing this way. So once all the chicken drumsticks are laid out, push this one back, so now we're going to cook this one on our steam. So anything, the breadcrumb drops, make sure that take it out. The house cleaning is very important. And we're going to close it. I'll turn the light on and you can see the chicken drumstick sitting on the rack and the bottom tray is filled with water. 255, we're going to give half an hour exactly. So at 325, we're going to come back. If it need more cooking, we'll cook it. If we need to turn it over, we'll check it out. It's 3.23, two more minutes to go. And if we look at here now, if I can close in, this is how the chicken looks inside the oven. And if we look at the water at the bottom, it's boiling. It's bubbling and the chicken is cooking real nice. We have two more minutes before I'm going to show it to you. It's exactly 325, half an hour cooking. I'm going to open it and be careful. It's too hot, steaming. And if we look at the chicken, let me close it. So if you look at the chicken on the rack, it's perfectly nicely done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm... it's like this, and we'll grab the chicken piece and we're going to turn them over. All the pieces are turned over and now I'm going to push it back. All the dripping, all the fat going inside the water. Anything falls from the rack, house cleaning, do it right away. And we're going to close it. It's a 328. We're going to cook additional 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, we're going to turn off the oven, then we're going to let it rest another 10 minutes before we're going to take it out. Another 10 minutes cooking. I'm going to turn it off and now if we look at down here this is how the chicken looks perfectly the water is still boiling down there and now the best thing to do let the chicken rest 10 minutes 
Once the oven cools down a little bit, then we're going to take it out. We let the chicken rest for 10 minutes and now I'm going to open it. Wow, it's still hard, so be careful. And I'm going to take all the chicken pieces out and I'm going to look at that. Delicious chicken, black pepper chicken, almond roasted. And I'm going to share with you. Look at how delicious almond roasted black pepper chicken drumstick. Prior to serving, I have my serving plate ready on each drumstick. You just put it on the top like this. Look at this. So easy to handle it and so easy to eat. Your fingers, your hand don't get messy. I'm going to put the aluminum foil on each drumstick and then I'm going to share with you. Our tasty and juicy mouth-watering, tender, moist, black pepper chicken drumsticks, almond roasted. Please comment below how it turned out for you and like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.